Hey guys, welcome back to Arm Froze. Let's play Pokemon Black. Uh, first off, I'm gonna show you how guys how to get strength, uh, because you're gonna need it later on. So, anyways, we're gonna go to the place where you got your fourth gym badge. It's uh, right over here, and fly away. Um, and here it is. Here's the city, and it's gonna be right up here in this house, right over here. You're gonna be talking to this blue-haired lady in the corner, and she's gonna give you strength. I'm gonna teach it to Missy. Because Missy, it, um, strength is a normal type move, and it because it has 80 base power, it's actually pretty powerful because of stab. Um, see, there it is, and I, t I take out takedown for it. So, anyways, back to the storyline. Um, I was about to go into the ice gym. Here we are, right over here, and this is actually a pretty cool ice gym. It's actually a little bit of a puzzle, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Um, but because I miss, I have a uh, knife and Chuck Norris. This is gonna be a cakewalk for me. I accidentally sent out my chirp, my flying whore, and I just might as well keep him in to see what he can do. Um, he actually does brine instead of ice move, which actually is really interesting. He actually goes for the endure, um, and he endures twice as I come down, so he actually will live with one HP. As I just use air cutter to just to finish it off. Um, he sends out his Forizio, or I think that's his name. He is um, a very defensive guy, but his typing is terrible. Ice is the most offensive typing you can get. It's like getting a shield made of paper. It's not very good. Um, so I just ham a hammer arm on the last guy, because I honestly I love the animation of hammer arm. And I smack the little bear in the face. Anyways, so he see, you press his button and you... Um, turn around and it goes into the uh, um so you can go to the next area this person has the ice shield the paper shield and i just fire punch it in the face as he uses ant acid armor no actually my bad i use hammer arm and um it takes it out even with the defense increase def defense increase it's still not going to do crap because i mean super effective it doubles the attack um uh the damage so anyways fight this guy over here and he only has one guy, but he it's a little bear thingy, and it's ice and ice and water, I think. He uses Endure as I just um, fire punch it, and uh, I kind of figured to use Endure, so I just go for the hammer arm just to take it out. Um, so anyways, uh, you go over here, go into this rock, and you go to this place where it has a little niche. Um, with that, it's going to be a lot easier to... Um, actually, I think this is the only way, but... Um, after I destroy this person, I fire punch the little ice bear, take it out with one hit, and, um, he sends out the Barichi, the little ice cream cone looking guy. I swear to God, Pokemon's running out of idea names. Um, so, I take him out, knife goes level 41, good odds, man, and that's me talking to my girlfriend. Um, so anyways, I move the... I move it over here and see as you as you see you have to move this way to go up to the button up here you go up now as come on there we go, go up and go on this niche again and see you'll, you'll be able to go to the next area and we jump um see and I was talking to my girlfriend again there um I well, I'm actually you have to fight this person it takes me it takes me a little while to actually accept the challenge, but he shows you his two Pokemon. Knife can make easy work of this. I just fire punch this ice ice cream guy in the face and take it out, obviously. And then he sends out the Breachy, another another one. So I just might as well just go for the fire punch. Just to take it out. Um so again, if you have this guy, your fire a fire monkey or um, a fighting type, you're pretty much set for this um gym. As you go over here, this is a little tougher, but it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Um, uh, then you go up here and battle this person. Again, if you have a fire type or a fighting type, you can make very easy. It's very easy because there's no, like, difference in the, um, in the Pokemon that they use. They all always, they all use the same Pokemon. See, um. A Kamashun, which is this little bear thing. The I think the gym leader has evolution, probably. Um, so I fire punch it in the face, and I think I actually switch up to Chuck Norris um, next. But anyways, you press this button and you move it up the here. 
you pre then um, you go on this rock and see you go to the next area. And here's the gym leader! He looks like an ice ninja, which actually is really cool. Um, so anyways, yes, I do send out um, Chuck first as she sends the ice cream cone. And I make easy work with this and just brick break it in the face. Super effective against ice and it goes down with one hit. So the the Suna Bear, the big polar bear thing. I told you you have the evolution. I just break break it. It doesn't kill exactly, but he uses swagger, which confuses me, increases my attack strength. Um, he actually goes for the hyper potion, and I go through the confusion, brick break him in the face, and one hit KO that bear. So that's what you get for using swagger on me. Uh, Check Norris goes to level forty one. He's the Forijo, the little um, uh, ice. Uh, shield thingy. I do have the Revenge, which is super effective against Ice types, but he actually uses Side Beam and uh, just one hit KO with uh, with a Revenge. Um, so that's easy work of the Ice Gym. That was actually r probably the easiest gym I've faced so far. But actually, it's a really cool badge. He presents it to me. Epicness. One more badge left. Then we're going to do Elite Four. Booyah! Um, so. Anyways, he gives me a TM. I don't want, I don't know what TM it is, but it's time to get out of here. And wee, it's a slide to get out of the gym. Actually, pretty cool. But um, next is my rifles are outside the gym. I'm like, okay, whatever. And um, they and then what the hell? <laughs> Why do you just like sense danger and ninjas be like you much much must go to Master N. He will eat your brain. And then maybe molest you afterward. But anyways, my right, my male, my uh, other rival, and the gym leader go up here, and I decide to follow them on my bike, my bicycle with no handlebars, no handlebars. But uh, my female rival talks to the other gym leader's boyfriend. I don't know what he is, but he says, "Oh, I, I'm too scared to go up there." I'm like, "Fine, I will go up there instead of you two because you two are complete wimps, and I will just be the man here." Um, but of course, this guy gives me an old get two. I, I think that, um, that's the item that, um, heals any, um, status condition. Not 100% sure. But this random Team Plasma guy, I'm like, oh god, more Team Plasma is gonna be coming up here. I refresh my repel, and, um, I try to go my bike, but now epic shaking happens, and I don't know what exactly is happening, but. And then, I don't know how he gets up there. There's a freaking rock in the way. Did you, you just, like, teleport? I don't know. But as I told you, you will need strength to get through here. Or you'll have to go back and get strength. Because there's no other way over um, past this rock. See, so Missy has strength. And I'll put him up, put her up first because I need to um, get her some experience. I get a little Stardust there. And now this is a little puzzle. If you want the um, item, go on the second one to go all the way up to get this. But um, an easy way to get past here is go on the third and just go on over and then go up. Uh, my repel wears off. I refresh it here. Uh, I only have eight repels. I probably need to go to the Pokemon Center soon. Um, and then these guys... Sorry, this is my phone. Uh, this Team Plasma guy is like, oh, I want to battle you. Because I guess they're stalling for N because N is trying to catch, like, the legendary Pokemon guy. But I just use Strength, and it's a really strong move. I almost one-hit KO this guy. Um, and Missy is just banking on experience. Um, then this other Team Plasma guy is like, oh, I want to battle you. And he sends out the little Persian person. And I send out Missy. And Missy uses the Claw Sharpen, and I use Strength. And it's a one-hit KO, and it goes down, and almost leveling up. So anyways, I go up to this person. I'm telling you guys, there's so many battles here to get um, experience. It's ridiculous. But, and they send out a little fighting a dark type, and I use strength, and a one-hit KOs it. So it goes down. And Missy goes low 40, woot. Go to Atman. So I go to the next area. Nope, my bad, another person. I tell you guys, there's so many freaking Team Plasma guys trying to stall for N. But, um... I send out Missy, and I use Strength to one-hit KO this little cat thingy, and so I'm, and he sends out another cat person, and I'm really hoping that he doesn't have Fake Out, 
but I just go for the strength, and it went ahead and KOs it. So I'm like, eh, hey, whatever. You're down. Get out of my way. Um, another Team Plasma guy. Holy crap. Um, so he sends out the little, uh, the beaver person. And I send out Missy again, and I'm like, okay, please kill this guy in one hit. Strength. And it doesn't exactly kill. It almost kills. He uses Hyper Fang. Does not do that much damage at all. I use Crunch just to kill it off. And, um, next is he sends Zuguru. Which is a little fighting and dark type. I use strength. No, I bet I misclicked this the um crunch, which is really stupid. I really was hoping he didn't use a fighting move, which he didn't. But um, then I use strength just to take it out. And then he sends a wabushu. I mean waburu, and I use strength. And be, um, it doesn't exactly kill because of the intimidate. He uses embargo, which makes me not use any items. I just use um the revenge move just to take it out. And Missy goes low, 41, good out, man, as I'm going to the next area after I refresh my repel and get this item. It is a Dragon Fang, which increases the crit, crit rate, I think, a little bit. Um, but I go over here, and I'm telling you guys, there's so many items. I get the Stardust, and these are not just regular items. These are items that um, you can sell for a lot of money and get, like, full restores, revives, max revives, that type of stuff. Um, it's really helpful. I kind of lost my way here. I refresh my repel, and I'm like, okay, this is easy. Just go over here. But there's a thing in my way. So I realize I have to get to the top ring. Um, with that, I'll be able to um, go to the next area. And I go up here, and see, there we go. And go down here and get this item over here. It is a revive, which is very helpful. They're always helpful. And I refresh my repel because I'm walking all over the place and I go up to the next area. And more earthquake happens. I'm like, oh my god, earthquake! <laughs> I get this item, it's a max elixir, which increases your PP. And so this guy's like, cluster fuck this guy! And so four people go around me. Uh, wow, this is like a gangbang, but... So, you have to fight one after another. I'm really sad that they, like, you didn't do, like, a double battle or a triple battle or anything like that. That would be actually really fun. But I almost killed this guy. Um, he uses Hyper Fang. I go for the revenge move, and I take it out with a, with a hit. And he sends out his Awabru, and he does Intimidate. I don't know why I'm doing the Spanish rolling the R's, but I use Strength. Just take it out. Now, next... And I'm just roll. I'm just rocking these guys' faces with Missy. This is just absolutely ridiculous. He's a Wabru. It doesn't have intimidate, and I don't know what um what other ability he actually has, but I just strength it in the face, and it goes down. So next, come on, come on, give me a challenge here. Missy's just rocking your faces. He sends out the little poison type guy. As I send out Missy, and I use strength, and it goes down in one hit. I'm like, come on, give me a little like, give me a challenge here. I use strength again on this cat thing, and it goes down. I'm like, come on, next. He actually uses reversal, which um, if it the more damage it does, the lower your health. Um, I actually take out uh, bite for it as this fight this last team plasma person, and so he sends out a little beaver thing. But because I'm a another, I'm a higher level up. I use strength, and I finally one hit KO the beaver. Um, so they all just get out of my way. And I finally figure out what's making the earthquake, and it's N, of course, with Zekrom. This is actually the dark and electric type. He is the uh, the one of the legendaries of this generation. The next is the, um, Rashir, I think his name, with um, dragon and fire, which is actually the one I will be getting because I'm with the black version. It's like yin and yang, and ends like I shall talk to you and not molest you, but I shall go over here and Zachrome will fly me away. I didn't know Zachrome can learn fly, but now the Ice Ninja and my rival is like talking to me, but like, oh my god, this is really bad. And they talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I don't know what they're talking about, but like, oh my god, it's the champion. Why is he always here? Why does the champion have to do everything? I mean, I know he's really powerful and stuff, but I mean, really? But um, this is pretty much it for this um, Let's Play Pokemon Black. We're going to be going check, um, foiling Team Plasma's um, plan next time. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, stay classy. Booyah.